Hey there. So Zoom now allows hosts to enable live automated transcriptions of their sessions. We at the Disabled Students Program highly recommend that instructors activate this feature by default for all their Zoom lectures. If enabled, viewers can read closed captions in their Zoom windows at the click of a button. This feature is provided by an AI that is now built directly into Zoom, meaning you won't need to hire someone else to type the captions, nor will you need to incorporate your own closed caption software such as Otter. Keep in mind that because this is an AI, these captions will not be 100% accurate. Even so, their accuracy is pretty astonishing. Here's how to enable this feature if you are the Zoom host. First, log into your Zoom profile on your web browser with your UCSB Net ID. That's what I've done here. Then go to your settings on the left and make sure at the top you are under the meeting banner. Then go down to where it says in meeting advanced. Click on that to scroll all the way down to the closed captioning options. At this point, you're going to want to, you, you see closed captions or, and save captions. Go ahead and toggle closed captions on. And this tells you that save captions will also go on as a result, and that's fine. There's one more step though. Notice beneath closed captioning, you see this little box here that says, enable live transaction service to show transcripts on the side panel in meeting. And you wanna go ahead and activate that as well. So click on that box and then click save. Uh, now, whenever you host a Zoom session, a new closed caption live transcript feature should show up on the bottom of your Zoom window like this, down in the bottom between record and breakout sessions. Uh, you'll need to activate this feature per session, not on the settings menu, but here within the Zoom window. Um, you'll click on the closed caption button along the bottom. This little extra window pops up. Then you'll click on live transcript, enable auto tran transcription here on the bottom. This toggles them on. That button now allows you to disable them. Uh, and then as the host, you should now see captions along the bottom of your Zoom window. Doing this also means that viewers will see notification that a live transcription has now been made available. They can then choose to activate them by clicking on the arrow to the right of their own closed captions button. That's my dog. <laughs> they can select to have the captions appear as subtitles within the bottom of the Zoom window uh, in a size of their, and also in a size of their choice. They can also have them appear at the chat bar to the right of the Zoom window, like that. If the latter is optioned, the entire transcript can be saved by clicking Save Transcript at the bottom right corner. All right, so there you have it. Also, you got to listen to my dog. So closed captions can be a very useful tool for all students. Again, we at the Disabled Students Program highly recommend that instructors activate this feature by default for all their Zoom lectures. This will ensure that any student who may benefit from this service may do so with the click of a button.